Hey platform, I'm Mallory Blackman and I've written a book called Chasing the Stars. I'm Tracy Chevalier and I've written this book called New Boy. So today we'll be playing Is It Shakespeare or Is It Beyonce? And we've got this cup full of quotes that we have not looked at beforehand and we have to guess. This is going to be interesting. Yes. <laughs> Do you want you, to start? No, you start. Please, okay. Mallory. Oh no, this means I have to guess. And smooth as monumental alabaster. Is it Beyonce or is it Shakespeare? Beyonce. Shakespeare. It's from Othello. Ooh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that is so pathetic. Okay, I'm gonna get you. Uh, what we changed was innocence for innocence. Beyonce. Shakespeare, the worst really? tale. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Zero, zero. <laughs> like, do well here, aren't we? Right. One for you. What's done cannot be undone. That's Shakespeare. Definitely, Two. that's from Macbeth. Yeah. Well done. At least I got one. Okay. She fights and she sweats those sleepless nights. I think that's Beyonce. Yay! Beyonce is a bitch. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay, my turn. But I will wear my heart upon my sleeve. Oh, I bet you that's both. Let me, okay, I'm gonna have to take a guess at because that's, because I'm sure that they both would have said that, said that. Beyonce. Shakespeare. <laughs> Othello again. Oh, <laughs> our bodies are our gardens. Again, that could be both, could be. I'll go for Beyonce. <laughs> oh, it's Othello. <laughs> <laughs> our love was stronger than your pride. Oh, that's Beyonce. Indeed, from all night. Oh, I have lost my reputation. Oh, that's Shakespeare. Yeah, that's Cassio one? saying, Reputation, reputation, I've lost my reputation. Yes, I yeah, well done. done. Yay! Yay! Did she get it? Oh, yeah. She got the oh, yeah. guy. I'm a host of imperfection. Come on, Beyonce. Well done, yes. yes. Laws and all. <laughs> we shine light on whatever's worse. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everybody out there is going, It's so obvious. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to go. Beyonce. Say yes. Pretty <laughs> Tell me how I should feel when I know what I know. That's Beyonce. Well done, yes. Ring the alarm. She's very poetic. Isn't she, she is, yes. The course of true love never did run smooth. Shakespeare. Did summarize <laughs> and rain. That was Indeed. too easy. I don't think we did too badly. <laughs> Not too badly. It just shows you when you take stuff out of context, you don't mm. sort of automatically think that Beyonce is going to be poetic in the way mm. that Shakespeare is, but actually she is. Mm. So Mallory, when I was writing New Boy, which is a retelling of Othello, somebody said to me, oh, you know what? There's a new book out that's a retelling of Othello and it's by Mallory Blackman. I went, oh, oh, I might as well give up. And they said, yeah, and it's set in space. And I thought, oh, that's okay. Then. And I was very interested in the way that you've made them 11 and sort of around 11, 11 12 year olds and that, well, what was you, the reason for that? The reason for that is, do you remember like in, it's year six in the UK or sixth grade in the States, there was this week where everybody started going together and that means they're just standing around looking embarrassed <laughs> <laughs> and then they dump each mm. other by lunchtime, mm. you know, mm. so it's, it's, and I, I just thought they're, they're imitating adults. So they're imitating um, relationships and they're also imitating racism. Now, when you were writing uh, Chasing the Stars, it's it's based on Othello, but there's an awful lot that isn't Othello mm, at all. I yeah. mean, did you have, did you think, I'm just gonna reference it or? I wanted it to be kind of inspired by yeah. rather than a retelling of. And so I wanted you to kind of, if you know the story of Othello, do what you did and think, okay, yeah. which one is Iago? And then realize it's her brother Aiden. So I wanted to kind of play around with it and keep it looser and, mm. you know, bring in some kind of other elements and just have, have a bit of fun with it, I think. Yeah. Well, I chose Othello because um, it was the very first play or story or piece of literature I read that featured a black character. Right. And do you remember how old you were? I was 17. And I just remember that, you know, devouring it and reading ahead and to find out what was going to go on. and. And, you know, and it had quite an impact on me. I mean, it, it wasn't until I was 21 that I read a first novel that featured a black character, and that was A Colour Purple, but it, I thought, at, you know, at last we've got a, a sort of black person in literature. One of the things I thought we also both did was we made the women's parts much bigger. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you made V as the main character, yeah. and I um, tried really hard to make Desdemona and Amelia have 
much more to say because I think that's one of the flaws of Othello is that women are really underrated. Yeah, but I do think um, Amelia has a speech in Othello where she's talking about um, if women stray, then it's the men's fault. Yeah. And I thought that was such an amazing speech and so ahead of its time. Yeah. Saying you know the, it's up when you when men treat women a particular way, what do they expect? And I read that thinking, wow, <laughs> you know. I'm Mallory Blackman, and you can find me on Twitter, at Mallory Blackman, and you can find me on Facebook, Mallory Blackman. And I'm Tracy Chevalier, and you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. And you can subscribe for a new video every Thursday. Bye. Bye.